What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Meg, and I'm back with Vlogmas Day 10. If you are new to the channel, make sure you like this video, leave me a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. You see that big, bright, red, Santa Claus subscribe button? Hit it. Join the mob. Join the family, y'all. Please hit that subscribe button. We all going to 600. I feel like we can get there by the end of this week. So by Saturday, tomorrow, I know we can get there. So, um, yeah, do that for me. I appreciate it. If you are returning, thank you so much for being here. To all my new subscribers, my new family, the new mob, thank y'all. Hope y'all enjoying my content. Hope y'all having just as much fun as I am with Vlogmas and everything else. Y'all, I'm having fun. So, I am a part of the 12 Days of Christmas Holiday and Party Items Collaboration uh, Cake Bake Off. I was an honored to be included. So, pretty much what you got to do is bake a cake, either from scratch or from the box, whatever you prefer. You know what I mean? I mean, some of us can do it from the, from the scratch. You know what I mean? We just good like that. We just good like that. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to make a cake. And you can see I, I, I'm already a little messy. How I don't know how, but I'm already a little, a little messy. I've never done this before. My first time ever making a cake, and I, I haven't seen a cake made a many times. But uh yeah, we're gonna pray. We're gonna hope this thing is it, it works. I got the oven already preheating to 350. I'm gonna show y'all what I got today. I'm making a better than sex cake. Now, I gotta I gotta throw this in here because y'all saw in the chat where I said I would get my ingredients first. And then somebody came behind me and said they was getting their ingredients. Okay, check them receipts now. This person made the same kind of cake that I'm finna make, but mine's gonna be better. So, I'm gonna let you know, I got my ingredients first, okay? I got my ingredients first now. <laughs> so, yes, I'm gonna make a better than sex cake. Um, I'm not uh, a big chocolate fan, but I have made this cake made so many times in my past life. You know, you know back in my past life, I... um. This was a house favorite of, of ours, and this this cake is just good. Like it's just good. So what it is is chocolate cake, um, with some condensed milk and caramel. It's bright. Let me turn this down. With some condensed milk and caramel drizzle, and heat bars sprinkled on top with some whipped cream. Now, like I said, you know. It's a better than the sex cake. So I think it's better than the sex, better than love, better than crack. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be better than, it's better than. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with this cake. Um, I got an apron from Dollar General from DG. It's a dollar. It was a dollar. So that means that it may or it may not fit. I'm a hefty girl, okay? So, we're going to see if this apron fit. But I got to get in the, in the mood. I got to get in the spirit to bake and in the Christmas spirit. So, we're going to see how this works. Oh, it feels like paper. A paper apron. Is that something? All right. Oh, this is... Oh, um, this is... Okay. Well... Okay. Pull up my sleep. Well, the oven's ready. Okay. Um. So I got a big, a huge mixing bowl. That's, that's really all I had. Okay. So, um, I think you use all of this. If I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in to my bowl.
don't steal. Just don't, just don't steal. Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me just do this little number here. Okay. Y'all, if y'all can tell in my thumbnail, I had my hair in a hat. I wanted to have like a chef feel because I don't have no camera hat or nothing. But I said this is probably gonna be messy. So let me put my hair up in a bun. Cause this may be messy. So I need the box. So Okay, one cup of water. One cup of water. Where's the measuring cup? Way over here. See, I ain't even ready. I ain't even prepared. I ain't even ready. Hold on. Oh, wait. Where measuring cups at? Right. So we need one cup of water. All right. Pour, pour, pour. Is there no water? Is there no, is there no water? I hope so. Three large eggs. One. Two. Table oil. All right. Just boom. So we got a hand mixture because who finna stir this with their hand? Not me. Okay. So I got a little, I got a hand mixer that I'm gonna use to mix this up. Uh oh, wait. Should I use these or these? How I pull them out, y'all? How I pull them out? I'm gonna use these. These look a little bit more familiar to me. Oops. Plug this bad boy up. All right, so the cake is mixed up now. Now, I hope this pan is small enough. Uh, if I can remember, they we normally get a 13 by. 13 by 11, is that right? Don't give me the line. Here is the cake. And the cake is off into the oven. Okay, so while the cake is baking, what we're gonna do is mix up our um, topping that's gonna go inside of the cake. Um, this topping will be poured into the cake after it comes out of the oven so it can be nice and warm and gooey and all that okay so we're gonna use the whole can of sweetened condensed milk and i'll say about a, maybe a half a little over half of the caramel sauce um in our mixture you want to have this already made up so that when the cake comes out of the oven you can go ahead and poke your holes in it and pour this right on in. So, now I'm sure most of y'all probably know this, but it is not good to walk in front of a baking cake in the oven, while it's in the oven. It's not good. So make sure when you're baking the cake, don't walk too much around it because your cake can sink and your cake can drop. And you don't want to drop the cake. You want your cake to be nice 
and full and fluffy. Now, if you made it to this part of the video, um, let me know in the comments how I'm doing. And don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel if you are not. Y'all, I would very much so, very, very, very much so appreciate it. So, yeah. So I got my condensed milk in there. I'm gonna pour some of this. Condensed milk is so sweet. I'm gonna pour some of this caramel and I'm gonna mix it on up. Now you have a nice, smooth, thick, caramel, condensed sauce mixture that you will pour all inside of this cake. And the rest of this, you're gonna pour on top. All right, now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start straightening up, cleaning up a little bit. So can't nobody say, can't nobody say, Meg, you messy. No, I'm not, okay? No, I'm not. I'm gonna clean up as I go. Go ahead and get some of this stuff out the way. And yeah, I'll be right back. Hey. It's Meg. This video is brought to you by WTF with the Family Tabers. They are a YouTube channel of wonderful people who put forth efforts to collaborate with other YouTubers to not only spread holiday cheer, but to provide an opportunity for us all to grow. WTF family, we love you, we thank you, and I appreciate this opportunity. If you have not yet subscribed to their channel, feel free to do so right now. Happy holidays. Cake. I went ahead and poked a hole in it, of course, you know, Test the middle, and ain't no cake batter on the poker. So I want to go ahead and poke holes all through out this cake. We're gonna go ahead and pour our um, mixture onto the cake. Right in there. So you want to make sure it gets all down in the inside of that cake. So a lot of cake for it to get into. So you want to make sure that it gets all over the cake. All over, all over, all over, all over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna let this cake cool. Let it cool. We're gonna throw it in the, uh... oh, should I do the freezer or the refrigerator? Let's do the refrigerator. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about two hours um, so it can be nice and cool. But you still want the inside to be kind of, you know, so don't do it overnight because you still want it to be kind of like gooey and warm, stuff like that. When we come back, we're going to go ahead and top it off and we'll be done. So, be right back. All right, y'all. So, we're back. The cake is cooled off. Let me show y'all. That's the cake. All right. So, so I'm going to get out the whipped cream, which is the best part of the whole entire cake to me. That and the candy bits. All right. Mmm. Look at that. Woo. Okay. I'm gonna just get some out of here and just whip it on top. <laughs> Now, I like to like make it kind of like swirly. You know, I don't want it to be all flat. I want it to have some kind of life to it when you put it on top. So it can look like some, you know what I mean? That's how it look. Oh, I missed the spot. Dang. <laughs> don't worry about it. We got extra. Right there. 
My bad. No holes left behind. Oh, that didn't sound right. No holes with an L. L. No holes. No holes left behind. Okay. There we go. All right. So, I'm going to take some of these heat bits. It's going to sprinkle that thing right on the top. Look at that. So, that's perfect. That's perfect. All right. And we're gonna take the rest of this caramel drizzle. We're gonna drizzle that right on the top. Now, if you would like, you can put some more heat bits on top. I put enough so I don't have to. But, y'all, it's time to go ahead and taste this bad boy now. It's time to go ahead and taste it. I'm gonna give me a plate, one sec. All right, so I'm gonna do the honors of cutting the first piece. Which side do I wanna start on? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Okay, I'm gonna do right here. This corner piece. Corner pocket. Okay. Y'all ready? I tell you, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh! That's good. That is delicious. Mm. All right, y'all. I had fun with this. This is the Better Than Sex Cake. If you enjoyed it, leave me some lit emojis in the comments. Go watch the other videos of all the other cakes. It's been fun. It's been creative. It's been yummy. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Merry Vlog. Bye, y'all.